Greetings, YouTubers. This is Mo, the mime who speaks. YouTube's superhero. Oh. I don't know what's going on. It seems like a lot of the people I used to watch haven't been making videos lately. Um. Okay, yeah, I've been a little lax in the video department, too. I'm sorry, you know. It, I made a couple of videos a few days ago. I'm now making a video today again. Um, it's... Wow. It's February. It's Monday, February 4th. I got baptized yesterday. It was a good time. You know, enjoyed it. I had a good time. It's good to take care of things that you've been putting off. Uh, you know, don't let the grass grow under your feet and all that stuff. Um, so anyhow, uh, speaking of grass growing under your feet and putting things off, I don't know where some of you guys have been. You know, it, it's lonely here. It's I don't get uh, I don't get as many emails as I used to get. I don't get as many new video comments. I don't I don't know what's going on. It, is YouTube dying? Is is the YouTube posting video phase over? Are people just like moving on? You know, I mean, even even the battle of the YouTube superheroes, which seemed to drag on forever, and you know, just seemed to peter out. They never they never completed the final round, the final four, and that's kind of sad, you know. Um, and I was a big big supporter of that, and I'm kind of sad that that happened, you know. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, one thing I did do, you know, there were a lot of people out there who were drama queens, uh, so to speak. Uh, they, uh, they put out a lot of bad vibes that, you know, Mo was watching this stuff and feeling do I really want to support these people? So I unsubscribe from a few people who are just not positive people. Um, you know, even people that I've been watching for a long time. I'm not going to mention any names. They know who they are. Um, I'm, I'm very thankful to the 92 people who have subscribed to me to date. Um, you know, I really believe in supporting my subscribers. I subscribe back if you have videos. Um, I will watch your videos. If you email me, I do respond. Um, you know, I'll rate them. So I'm watching you guys, you know. I encourage you to continue making videos. I encourage you to, you know, continue doing your YouTube stuff. I mean, I don't know where you've been or where you where you uh, are planning on going in the future, but you know, if you're leaving YouTube altogether, make a goodbye video. Just you know, let some of us know that hey, you're done. You you lost the magic. And if you've just been lax, you know, I, I want to encourage you to get back into the game. You know, we want to hear some from you. You know, you know, Mo misses you. You know. And, uh, I'm going to try to make a commitment to make weekly videos at least. Uh, I know we're all busy. We all have lives here that go out beyond YouTube. Mo's not, you know, an exception here. I, I have my own stress and pressure, and I'm, I'm running out of ideas to, uh, things to talk about. So maybe I'll... I'll talk about movies that I've seen or want to see. If I if I like a movie, like uh, a couple of video goes ago, I, I talked about the bucket list. I thought that was a good one. Um, I just rented uh, a video that I thought was pretty cool. I, I watched it. I got from Blockbuster, September Dawn. So it's a good video. I, I like this one. Um, it's based on actual events. Uh, that happened in Utah in 1857 on September 11th. Ironic. Um, and it involves the Mormons.
kids because evidently they uh, they massacred a whole bunch of innocent people and it's based on historical facts so uh, if you're a Mormon I I'm not trying to put you down or anything this is not a hate speech or anything this is a I'm supporting this movie speech I'm saying this is a good movie to watch you know even if you think that uh, Brigham Young had nothing to do with the uh, Mountain Meadows massacre as it's known historically um, you know this is a very this is one of those movies that makes you think so um, you know we should be watching stuff that's got some sort of relevance in our lives we shouldn't be just sitting around watching reality TV and stupid sitcoms okay yeah I, I know I'm a big survivor fan and everything it's my my kryptonite I um, I'm looking forward to the new season of Survivor. It's coming up in a couple of days fans versus favorites um, and I've been I've applied three times to get on Survivor but never quite made it so uh, you know but you know, why don't we, why don't we just like watch good movies? And if we know of any good movies, let's recommend good movies. You know, positive things. Things that have like historical facts. And, you know, I know it sounds boring, you know, maybe it's not blood-sucking aliens from beyond. But, uh, you know, or Slave Girls from Beyond Infinity. That's a real movie, go check it out. Oh, I, I didn't mean to say that. I didn't mean to say... It's loosely based on a, on, a, on a short story called The Most Dangerous Game, but eh, very loose, very loose. Um, so anyhow, um, yeah, you know, that's that's all I have to say. You know, just I, I want to see some stuff from you guys. I want to see I want to see some good quality stuff, um, and um, that's just it. You know, well, I got to run. I got a bunch of things to do. Um, and uh, shouts out to my brother. Uh, it's his birthday in a couple of days, so um, you know, happy birthday, bro! And I'm uh, sorry I uh, couldn't get up to Massachusetts, but you know, it's it's the space between us and the time and the money to get back and forth, and things are tight now. You understand? It's like you know, I know you understand. I'd be there if I could, so. This is Mel the Mime Who Speaks, signing off, and I will see you soon. Take care.